six. Um, if you can remember from the last tutorial, uh, what I did was show you how to uh, insert a YouTube video uh, into your web page. Basically, and we left it at uh, reinserting the YouTube video in uh, this rectangle, and basically, uh, uh, and uh, basically when I played it. So at the moment it's basically uh, in this uh, portion of the page and it's taking up uh, half of the page basically. So what we want to do is actually uh, move that YouTube video into this uh, little rectangular area and not be placed as it is at the moment over here when we play it. So let's uh, basically do that and it's uh, very straightforward. Uh, so basically with the rectangle selected, uh, we go to the place hold placeholder icon, select that, and we get the dialog box again. And here, where uh, if you remember, we copied the HTML code from uh, YouTube. Uh, if you look at the top line, uh, it uh, gives you uh, basically the uh, the size uh, of the YouTube uh, video, which is. Uh, 480 uh, wide by 390 uh, high. Uh, so basically, this is the actual size uh, when we play the YouTube video. If I play that, uh, this is the size uh, basically of the YouTube uh, we need to actually change. So at the moment, uh, this is the size, uh, and that's why the YouTube video on our page doesn't fit uh, this rectangle so basically what we need to do is change uh, this uh, width number and the height number and in order to do that uh, first thing is we have to know the size of this rectangle and uh, Zara has uh, basically uh, has that facility built in and it's always here uh, just by these icons, uh, these are the size and positions of this rectangle. Uh, and if I go to this uh, logo type, uh, the uh, dimensions and sizes, etc., etc., that changes. Everything changes. So, but we want to uh, change the size of this uh, basically rectangle. Uh, uh, basically, not this rectangle. Sorry, uh, the YouTube video on this this size, these two sizes, the width and the height, so it would fit in this uh, rectangle. And the, other s the size for this rectangle at the moment is uh, 125 uh, wide, uh, that's pixels I think it is, and 78.6 pixel, uh, pixels high. So basically what we need to basically change is 480 wide to obviously this is 125 so we change the 480 to 125 and the height here is 390 but the height of this rectangle is 78.6 so we'll change 390 to 78.6 and apply okay now that there's no change at the moment unless we run the website and when we do hey presto there is that you know the way it was the YouTube video was in, in this size first and now we so just by changing them two uh, numbers uh, of the width and the height uh, we've squashed the uh, YouTube video into that little uh, rectangle of our choice and if we play that video there we go and that's how uh, simple uh, that is and if you even if you increase the size move it around and if you play it again it will still remain the small size that was basically original that we place and if we wish to uh, resize this video anywhere else if you wanted this big uh, if you wanted to 
play it basically uh, the screen from the YouTube it will be this size then again select it uh, and then go back to the placeholder and change the two settings and at the moment if you look they have changed here it's 348.2 so width if you wanted to change it select <laughs> 